Doha from Qatar and also a senior. Ibrahim is our amendments moderator. He is from Egypt, also a senior from the Haya International Academy. Samuel Smil is our another senior from the Hutchins School in Hobart, Australia. Our chat moderator is a Avitis Avitsida Das from the Durkham English School in Qatar, also a senior. And finally, our tally moderator is a Pervaganu, a junior from the MKS School. So we will now proceed to roll call vote. Please respond with present and voting once when I have called on your country. Doug of Bulgaria. Present and voting. Doug of Colombia. Present and voting. Present and voting. Doug of Cuba. Present and voting. Delegate of Cyprus. Present and voting. Delegate of Denmark. Present and voting. Delegate of Ecuador. Present and voting. Delegate of Fiji. Present and voting. Delegate of France. Present and voting. Delegate of Luxembourg. Present and voting. Delegate of New Zealand. Present and voting. Delegate of South Sudan. Present and voting. Delegate of Switzerland. Present and voting. Delegate of Syria. Present and voting. Delegate of USA. Present in voting. Thank you. All delegates that are late coming in, please send a message to one of the moderators. Uh, Amendment moderator, please put up the resolution. Delegates that can see the resolution, please give a smiley face. Thank you. The chair now sets reading time for the resolution to five minutes. Yes, delegate? To a point, do you rise? Hi, um, um, I'm representing Poland, and my country wasn't called and my my name for um, the username isn't showing up as Poland as well, so I just wanted to clarify that I'm participating. Thank you, David. Um, we will have a, a, a chat moderator will come and assist you in helping you re-log in as a delegate. Once again, the chair sets reading time for five minutes. If you are having troubles reading the resolution, we will send you a link and then you can read it. Also, delegates that were late, please send a message to one of the chat moderators, Samuel or Vespita. Thank you.
Nuggets, we are not big in debate. Once again, those who are popping in, just letting you know, voting for amendments has changed from for and against to now for and against and abstaining, which means that all voting is now has three options. So as we now begin debate, will the main submitter please come up and give their speech on the resolution? We, as the delegation of France, are deeply alarmed by the crisis of sovereign debt and wish to prevent it from reoccurring by decreasing its risk. We are deeply alarmed by the fact that only 28% of working age women enter the labor force in the Middle East and North African region, and that many nations, including economically developed ones, lie in the risk of debt crisis. Homes are losing their net worth, and many states are in terrible economic conditions. As a result, we submit this resolution to the ECOSOC of the United Nations, willing, willing that the fellow delegations would help us pass this resolution and resolve this issue. We hope that delegations would refrain from, from destructive comments and amendments and instead try to offer constructive amendments and positively engage in the debate for a better resolution and to be able to, to better solve the crisis. From women rights to unemployment rates, monetary policies, and financial regulations, this resolution fully addresses the issue of methods to curtail the risk of sovereign debt crisis and attempts to resolve the issue for a better economy to our member states. The resolution is precise, addresses all the methods that should be taken to curtail the risk and offers realistic solutions. By passing this resolution, we can assure a better economy, stop witnessing sovereign debt crisis occur in many countries and together build our countries, enhance our economy, strengthen our relations and assure better life standards. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. Is Doug open to A&R points of information? Yes, any of those. Doug has opened up to any and all points of information. Are there any on the floor? Doug, uh, Cyprus and USA. To the delegate of France, why is Clause 1 specifically referenced to MENA states? Clause 1 is specifically addressing MENA states since 28% of working age in MENA states are uh, uh, do not and only 28% enter the labor force while it's a better condition in other states. Delegate of the USA. Honorable Delegate of France, how do you believe that Clause 1 uh, supports curtailing the risk of sovereign debt crisis? What impact do you think it will have? The delegate believes that women are a very important part of society, and by women entering the labor force, this would help. Uh, this, would, this would help better the economy, the economy of the country as a whole, because women, uh, women entering the labor force would be a very important factor in improving the economy. Thank you, delegate. Are there any more delegates wishing? Are there any more delegates that have point of information? Delegate of Spain, you have been recognized. The delegate of Spain is confused by clause one, sub clause D, where it states that it encourages programs um, relating to um, connecting to sub clause D, funding and supporting programs, organizations interested in educating women. So, what, who, what, and who is um? Funding and supporting the pro programs that will educate women. The delegate agrees that this clause should be more precise to who and what will fund the programs and wishes that the delegate submit an amendment towards improving this clause. You dug it. Well, Doug, now yield the floor back to the chair. Point of information to the chair. Delegate yields the floor back to the chair. Hold on, delegate of Monaco, top on your eyes. Would it be in order to extend points of information by now? Perhaps not now, seeing as the delegate has yielded the floor back to the chair. Seeing as the delegate has yielded the floor back to the chair, the 
claim of admission is uh, moot. Um, the floor is now open on the to speak on the resolution as a whole. Are there any decision to speak? Once again, the floor is now open for Doug wishing to speak. Thank you, Doug of Cyprus. You have been recognized. Honorable Chair, for the delegates and most esteemed guests, the de this delegate does acknowledge that this is an, a great attempt to actually solve this issue. However, uh, there are, this delegate finds several flaws in this resolution, uh, ranging from effectiveness or well, from how it's actually going to actually help the issue. Uh, the major problem this delegate finds is actually Clause One. First of all, it only applies to MENA states, and that is a major concern since this should be a resolution on the entire world, not just focusing on the MENA states themselves. And even within the clause, there is this, there is this clause E which calls for European development, where it is actually focused on MENA states, and this, in general, this clause does not make sense at all to this delegate. In clause 2, there is, this delegate thinks that there, sh there will be issues on sovereignty in clause 2 because it calls on states to change their policy. And uh, in clause eight, on how uh, how uh, specifically in this clause it calls on more trade trade tariffs between nations. This is an era where people where nations have interdependence. They have to depend on each other to actually work together and create their economies. They cannot just cut cut themselves off and say that this is called this domestic development. That will not work in our world currently. And because of these points, the delegate believes that in the states, this resolution should not pass. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. Is Doug open to any and all points of information? Any and all. Doug has opened himself to any and all points of information. Are there any delegates that has point of information? Delegates of Syria, Spain, and South Sudan. Does the delegate of Cyprus agree? that not only is Clause 1 only based at MENA states, uh, which is bad, it further only talks and discusses about women, which is rather unfair. Does the Delegate of Cyprus think that men should deserve equal treatment as well, well too? Well, of course, this delegate acknowledges the point that uh, the delegate of Syria is trying to make and respects that. However, this is this this is what the delegate is talking about. This is putting too much focus on gender equality. This is not a resolution on gender equality. Although it may be related, this resolution is on the sovereign debt crisis, and it, it is about the world. And it's therefore, focusing this clause on men of states and on gender equality, that does not really fit the goal of the resolution today. Follow up. Denied. Um, does the delegate of um does the delegate of Cyprus agree that European Development Base is a commission that is facilitated by European Commission that gathers information and helps solve problems from all of all of the world? Um, topics such as food security, um, private sectors and um employment rate in different countries. It is not an organization that um only specify um, within European countries. It also solves interna international affairs. Thank you, Delegate. The Delegate does acknowledge that and thanks the Delegate of Spain for this comment. However, the problem still remains that Clause 1 is ineffective and this is one of, this is pretty much the major problem of this resolution. Either we, we amend it so that it fits the purpose of the entire world or we strike it. And we could also focus on other clauses as well. Thank you. Does the delegate of Cyprus agree that this this resolution lacks a lot of substance and requires many amendments for uh, for it to be passed? Thank you, delegate. It's an excellent question. The delegate agrees. Thank you. Well, delegate is uh. Are there any more points of information on the floor? Yeah, is there none? We'll delegate uh, Cypress to the floor back to the chair. Yes. The floor is now open. Are there any delegates wishing to speak on the resolution as a whole?
delegate of Denmark, you have been recognized. Um, the delegate of Denmark would like to say that first, she, um, the delegate finds very few issues in Clause 1, and would like to also add that gender equality should play a role in all resolutions, because the delegate does believe that gender equality is still an issue. Now, um, as to the focus on MENA states, um, the delegate does believe that there are issues with gender equality, specifically in Middle Eastern states, and which is why the delegate of France has obviously um, addressed this. The delegate believes that this clause could apply to all states, not just MENA states. And the delegate would also like to add and remind everyone that 50% of the population is made up of women, and their inclusion in the economy is important. And by not tapping into the resource of women, they are losing essentially 50% of all um, potential. Now, the delegate, after clearing this up, would like to say that there are so many different interesting and important clauses in the rest of the resolution that um, the delegate believes could be focused on as well. Thank you. Thank you, delegate. Is the delegate open to any not points of information? Um, the delegate is open to, is not open to any points of information. Thank you, delegate. Will the delegate yield the floor back to the chair? The delegate yields the floor back to the chair. Delegates, are there any delegates who to speak on the resolution as a whole? Once again, the floor is open. Delegate Monaco, you have been recognized. Despite this being a generally acceptable resolution, there are numerous clauses in this resolution that make it quite ineffective. Let, let's start with Clause 1. Clause 1 is weak because it refers only to MENA states whereas this, and to women, whereas this should apply to the whole labor force and not only to MENA states. Furthermore, Clause 3 is perhaps the most useless and ineffective clause in this resolution because it does not deal with the sovereign debt crisis at the moment. It deals with what situation countries could hopefully be faced with in say 20 or 30 years because we are not going to get out of this recession anytime soon. So what we need is clauses that deal with the issues right now, not on the long term. And besides this, the clause mentions fiscal policies and the impact of, on climate. The impact on climate has nothing to do with the sovereign debt crisis and these fiscal policies would have to be mentioned in much greater depth in order for this clause to be affected. Uh, finally, Clause 7 mentions long-term lending and borrowing practices between nations without mentioning what these long-term lending and borrowing practices would do or what the benefits of um, this would be. The, the main way to get out of the sovereign debt crisis is by short-term loans between member nations and not, not long-term loans as these will, are likely perhaps not to be paid back or to be paid back at interest rates so high that the countries could not afford these loans in the first place. The delegate is open to any and all points of information. Thank you, delegate. The delegate is open to any and all points of information. Are there any on the floor? Delegates, please remind that do not raise the placards until the, has, the chair has opened, has opened the floor. Uh, however, delegate of uh, Luxembourg, sorry, Luxembourg, Ecuador, and South Sudan. The delegate of Luxembourg would like to ask the delegate of Monaco um, why the topic is called Methods to Curtail the Risk of Sovereign Debt Crises. A big part of what we're here to talk about today is not just getting out of the current debt crisis um, in the Eurozone, but also to curtail the risk of future sovereign debt crises. It's very important for this assembly to be thinking about long-term um, solutions to the problem and preventing future debt crises around the world, as well as be thinking about um, the current debt crises that we're now suffering through. Um, long-term, um, I mean, risky um, long-term lending, uh, sorry, risky short-term lending and borrowing practices are part of what got us into this problem um, to begin with. I think that it's an important part of the clause in the resolution and should remain there. Also in clause one, um, women, as the delegate of France has pointed out, is, are hugely important um, to economies, um, the global economy, economies in every nation. And there are many nations around the world that do not include women enough 
in businesses and in industry um, as much as they should. And that's definitely a solution um, and an important part of the issue that we should be focusing on. Thank you. Uh, delegate yields to the floor. Delegate, please remind that was a, you were the first open for a point of information. Does Delegate have a question or was that just a statement? The delegate's question uh, for um, the delegate of Monaco is how um, is how can we only focus on short-term solutions? Um, what how can we avoid further problems if we um, ignore um, long-term solutions as well? Uh, thank you, Delegate of Luxembourg, and the uh, Delegate fully understands your concern. However, um, with regard to dealing to, uh, with regard to further relapse into the sovereign debt crisis, the method that this is very unlikely in the near future because countries, first of all, have to get out of this debt crisis. So this Delegate believes that uh, member states should be taking it one step at a time and focusing on this debt crisis and that countries do not fall into relapse into this debt crisis again before they focus on future sovereign debt crises. Thank you, Delegate. Delegate of South Sudan. And the Delegate of South Sudan would like to ask the Delegate of Monaco about the Delegate's opinions on radical radical solutions to changes. For example, long-term lending and borrowing schemes. Could a uh, point of information to the chair? Yes, Delegate. Could the Delegate please restate his question, perhaps in a louder uh, voice? Ladies and South Sudan, please restate this question in a more audible manner. Thank you. Um, what are the delegate of Monaco's feelings on radical solutions to a pressing issue that is at hand? Uh, thank you, delegate. Uh, the delegate of Monaco's views are clearly expressed in Clause 5, which the delegate uh, of Monaco has in fact su submitted, and that monetary policy should be used to get out of the sovereign debt crisis. The, this delegate does not believe in austerity measures as these have failed in, mem in many member states, such as Italy. Thank you, delegate. The chair believes that the delegate of Ecuador has responded for permanent information. Is that true now, or has Doug withdrawn her part of information? Very well. Doug of Brazil, you have been recognized. Um, does the delegate of Monaco agree that uh, Clause 1 has uh, is also a long-term uh, cause, a long-term helping uh, uh, ability for the um, for the problem at hand, and that it only uh, it only shows it only is uh, according to the women, and that is not and that is not uh, the proper way for solving this method at hand, this problem at hand. The delegate of Brazil is absolutely right when the delegate says that this clause is a long-term uh, clause because the inclusion of women into the workforce will not happen overnight. This is a process that, first of all, has to be implemented in member states. And once this implementation takes place, these women would have to go through extensive training and education to be incorporated into the labor force as fully as possible. Thank you, Delegate. Thank you. Will Delegate Monaco please yield the phone back to the chair? So yield it. Thank you. The floor is now open once again for debate on the resolution as a whole. Are there any delegates wishing to speak? Please raise your packers now. Delegate of France, you have been recognized. The delegate of France submitted a, an amendment to make clause one encourage just programs for the inclusion of women into the workforce with specific reference, but not limiting to 
when I say through means such as but not limited to two, and then the rest of the clause. We will add but not limited to M E and A C. Thank you, Dalian. Yes, the chair has approved this amendment. So you, the chair now says close debate time for this amendment to four minutes for and four minutes against. Dalian, you have the floor. The delegate thinks that although MENA states specifically need this clause, we should not concentrate only on MENA states and concentrate also on other states worldwide that need the women labor and that have this issue as a major crisis. Delegate, is Doug open to any all points of information? No. Thank you, Doug. Will Doug give the floor back to the chair? The delegate uses the floor back to the chair. Thank you. Time for this amendment is still in session. Are there any delegates who should speak for this amendment? Please raise your placards now. Delegate Brazil, you have been recognized. Um, this delegate strongly believes that uh, this amendment uh, should be voted for uh, because uh, it states that uh, the problems for the inclusions of women in the workforce uh, should not be limited to only men states, which is exactly our point, and uh, therefore should uh, pass. Thank you. Thank you. Is the door open to points of information? Uh, yes. yes. Any at all? <laughs> door is open so to any our points of information. Are there any on the floor? Seeing as there are none, we'll go get you the floor back to the chair. Oh, the chair stands corrected. Delegate Fiji, you have been recognized. Does the delegate believe that not, if this amendment is introduced, the resolution shall now be worth uh, passing and will and can be properly implemented? Uh, well. This, although this this amendment actually helps the resolution in a major way, uh, this delegate does not think that it, sh it is still capable of passing, because there are some other uh, mistakes that need to be amended. Thank you. Thank you. Will Dougie you the floor back to the chair? Yes. The chair now yields his chair duties to Laura, his co-chair, which she will now chair for the almost for the rest of the debate. Thank you, Chair. Uh, we will now move into time against this amendment. Are there any points on the House at this time? Please raise your placards now. A delegate of Monaco has been recognized. The delegate of Monaco would like to congratulate the delegate of France for her attempt to make this uh, clause more effective. However, the issue of women in the labor force and the fact that this clause is limited to women in the labor force still poses a big problem. What this clause does not take into consideration, first of all, is men, and second of all, and this is a little more complicated, is the wishes of certain member states not limited to their culture and their traditions to not include women into their labor force. For thousands of years, these countries have worked on the basis that men are, make up a large part of the labor force. It would be very radical to um, force these member states, or at least even to encourage them to include women in their labor force against their own wishes. The delegate is open to any and all points of information. The delegate has opened himself to any and all points of information. However, due to time constraints, the chair will only entertain two of such points. Are there any points on the floor? Please raise your placards now. The delegates of New Zealand and Brazil have been recognized in that order. Um, I'm sorry, Chair. I had waived my uh, The delegate of New Zealand has waived his placard to speak on the amendment as a whole, not for the not for a point of information. 
Okay, the chair stands corrected. Uh, would the delegate of Brazil please proceed with their point of information? Uh, this delegate would like to uh, ask the delegate of Monaco whether uh, doesn't this amendment help the resolution entirely? Although it doesn't uh, change the fact that women that women are only uh, uh, pointed to here, it still does uh, change the fact that it's not only men of states and it's actually the whole globe which actually uh, contributes to a lot of this uh, to, for the solution of this problem. Uh, yes, this delegate agrees with you that it is much better now that it refers to the whole globe and not only MENA states. However, there is still the issue that the delegate mentioned in his speech that is not being tackled. So therefore, this clause is ineffective. The delegate of Monaco is open to one further point of information. Are there any points on the floor? Please raise your placards now. The delegate of Spain has been recognized. Does the delegate of Monaco agree that by bringing out the other 88% of able working women, we are able to achieve and successfully achieve um, curtailing the risk of sovereign debt crisis in certain areas, not only limited to men and states? Thank you. Yes, target. By including these eight, this uh, the figure that the target mentioned, we we are much likely to curtail the risk of further sovereign debt crisis. However, how does this issue tackle the current debt crisis? Delegates, forgive me for being so concerned. Forgive this target for being so concerned about this debt crisis. However, there will be no sovereign debt crises in the future if we do not deal with this one. The, what the clause mentions is to include the women into the workforce. However, this will take years and years. This cannot be done overnight. So this clause is completely ineffective. However, with regard to a resolution perhaps in a few years when this uh, debt crisis is over, this clause might be more effective. Thank you, Doug. Follow up. Granted. Does the delegate also agree that this resolution is not only specifying um, the current debt crisis, it's also trying to solve um, and prevent further solving that crisis in the world? It is, delegate, and I would request this de the delegate of Spain to hold a speech on those specific clauses once uh, we vote the House votes in favor or against this amendment. Thank you, delegate. Would the delegate of Monaco please yield the floor back to the chair? Delegate yields the floor back to the chair. We will now move into voting procedures on this amendment. Due to a recent change in some procedure regarding voting on amendments, uh, abstentions will now be in order. To vote for, select A. Wait, of order to again. chair. Um, please stand and see, please state your point. The delegate of Syria believes it has submitted an approved second degree amendment and has not been given a chance to speak on it. The chair sounds corrected. We will now move into procedure for an amendment to the second degree. Could the delegate of Syria please stand and state their amendment? Honorable chairs and fellow delegates, the delegate of Syria has simply added the second degree amendment that addresses men also in this clause and has added, for example, in the operative clause, encourages programs for the inclusion of both men and women and has also changed some parts of the wording into citizens as a whole so as to not show any gender inequality and to show the same amount of support for both genders so as to enhance overall production and job opportunities, which will indeed overall increase the entire uh, flow of money coming into a country and help it leave 
it's stepped faster if men are also given, if unemployed men are also given this chance to become educated and employed. Thank you. The chair sounds corrected. She forgot to previously set a uh, closed debate time for and against this amendment to the second degree. However, after this, we will only entertain one speaker on this amendment for this amendment due to time constraints. Is the delegate open to any points of information? Andy and all. Are there any points of information on the house in the house at this time? Please raise your placards now. Seeing as there are no uh, points of information with the delegate, oh, the chair is not corrected. Oh, uh, seeing as there are no points of information on the house at this time, could the delegate please yield to the floor back to the chair? Back to the chair. We will now move into uh, time against this amendment. Are there any delegates wishing to take the floor at this time? Please raise your placards now. Delegate of Bulgaria has been recognized. Um, the delegate of Bulgaria would like to submit a new clause for later discussion. Um, that is not in order. Would the delegate please communicate with the amendments moderator in order to submit an amendment? Uh, are there any speaker? Are there any delegates wishing to take the floor at this time to speak against the amendment to the second degree? Uh, the delegate of the USA has been recognized. Honorable delegates, the USA is strongly against the, I mean, this amendment to this clause for the following reasons. Firstly, the USA believes that this clause is completely irrelevant to the topic of sovereign debt crisis and believes that nation, member states need to take action Firstly, to prevent unemployment before we as a United Nations can attempt to solve the issues of gender equality. The USA believes that this clause is better suited to perhaps a gender equality resolution and it is for this reason that the delegate of USA urges you to vote not, not, just, for, not just against this amendment but against this clause as a whole. Um, is the delegate open to any points of information? Any and all. The delegate is open to any and all points of information. However, due to time constraints, the chair will only entertain one of such points. Are there any points on the floor? Please raise your placards now. The delegate of Spain has been recognized. Does the delegate agree with the delegate of Spain that this clause and this amendment is unnecessary because men, uh, according to um, Monaco, the Dragon of Monaco, is already by tradition working and with women at their house or working their house. So therefore this class is definitely unnecessary because we every man is working and if, if the man is not working then they are, they are unemployed. Therefore this is the problem of um, improving the un un unemployment for men instead of a, um, um, the, the topic that is issuing and um, discussing about gender equality. Uh, Chair, can the delegate please rephrase their point of information as a question? Could the delegate please rephrase their point of information? Does the delegate of um, does the delegate believe that by tradition men is already working, therefore it is unnecessary for this amendment to be made? Um, the delegate's not quite sure what the delegate of Spain means by men are already working. Um, however, the delegate would like to reaffirm their statement that they believe that this clause is for the issue of gender equality rather than the methods of curtailing sovereign debt crisis. The delegate of USA would like to um, would like to state their position. The de uh, USA does is strongly for gender equality of an equal right to both men and women in the workplace. However, we feel that this clause is strongly, strongly irrelevant to the resolution and that the issues of sovereign debt crisis need to be tackled separately to those of gender inequality. Would the delegate please yield the floor back to the chair? The delegate yields the floor back to the chair. 
Time against this amendment to the second degree has elapsed. We will now move into voting procedure on this amendment. Uh, due to his recent change in signing procedure, abstentions will be entertained in amendments. Uh, to vote for this amendment, please select A. To vote against, please select B. And to vote uh, and to abstain, please select C. With 13 votes for, 5 against, and 4 abstentions, this amendment to the second degree passes. We will now move into voting procedure on the amendment as a whole. To vote for, again, please select A. To vote against, select B. And to abstain, select C. Give information to the chair. Uh, sorry, the chair is aware that uh, responses were not available before, but they that has been fixed. The chair would like to remind all delegates that they must vote for abstain. With 14 votes for, 6 against, and 3 abstentions, this amendment passes. The appropriate changes will be made to the resolution. We will now move into voting. Pre uh, sorry, we will now move into open debate on this resolution as a whole. Are there any delegates wishing to take the floor at this time? Please raise your placards now. The delegate of Bulgaria has been recognized. Um, the delegate of Bulgaria would like to present a previously submitted clause for um, later discussion. That is in order. The delegate of Bulgaria has submitted an amendment. The chair will, will read it. Uh, the, the amendment is to add a clause which reads, Strongly recommends that the UN create a European Union Anti-Corruption Committee, EUAC, which will be composed of one UN-approved and qualified representative from every nation in the European Union to accomplish the following tasks. A. Audit all consenting nations of the European Union every five years to investigate. One. Governmental bodies with nationally relating pecuniary responsibilities and powers. Two. Cooperations with significant impact in the national economy. Three. Private parties not necessarily a part of the government or a corruption under the suspicion of complicity and fraudulent activity or activity that is an indirect conflict with the financial and economic interests of the people. B, report all observation of fraudulent activity from the audit to the UN as re public records for further consideration. One, a grace period of five years for the nation to fix the problem with the privilege of discretion before fraudulent activity is published and revealed. Two, after the stated grace period, fraudulent activity will then be dealt with as an issue with the, within the full rights and powers of the UN to freely discuss and act upon to a, uh, receive economic support from the World Bank and other NGOs to continue these efforts against fraud. The chair sets debate time, a closed debate time for this amendment as two minutes for, two minutes against. Would the main submitter of this amendment please take the floor and give a short speech? The delegate of Bulgaria believes that this clause is necessary for long-term and short-term reform as it presents a solution that can not only be applied now but can be applied later to prevent further debt crises. Um, the solution would deal with the root of the problem that has caused the debt crises by attacking the corruption and mismanagement that was the original ca cause for the, um, the, the sovereign, <coughs> excuse me, debt crises, and would like to say, um, Silvia Bulgaria would also like to say that um, it is necessary for preventing further repeats of um, debt crises. 
Is the delegate open to any points of information? Um, yield to points of information. <laughs> the delegate is open to points of information, whether it's time constraints, the chair will only entertain two of such points. Are there any points on the floor? Please raise your placards now. The delegates of Cuba and Cyprus have been recognized in that order. The delegate of Cuba agrees with the delegate of Bulgaria's submitted clause and thinks that it should be passed because it will um, create a long-term plan that can help the EU get out of its debt crisis and also help the world get out of its debt crisis. Could the delegate please restate their point of information in the form of a question? Yes, um, I do have a question for the delegate of Bulgaria and that do they have other plans to help the long term um, uh, sorry, the long term global economy or do, do they think that this clause will be the main uh, plan? Delegate of Bulgaria, please respond to the point of information. Um, the delegate of Bulgaria would like to respond to the delegate of Cuba by saying that this would not only help the European Union but would help the global economy as a whole as the European Union affects, um, affects the global economy and stabilizing the European Union would help stabilize the entire global economy. Oh, uh, the still uh, to the delegate. Uh, the delegate agrees that this clause is a good clause that focuses on issues of corruption. However, uh, will the delegate uh, ha can the delegate have a few comments on how sovereignty will be kept in check while in the process of t carrying out this clause, saying that sovereignty may be infringed upon? The delegate of Bulgaria acknowledges the concerns that. The delegate of Cyprus has, and would like to say that the entity, as a separate from the European Union and under the jurisdiction of the UN, would not possess any authority that the UN does not possess, and thus would avoid um, imperialism and other such related perils. Would the delegate of Bulgaria please yield the floor back to the chair? The delegate of Bulgaria yields the floor back to the chair. The chair would just like to remind some of the newer delegates that points of information are a chance to ask questions to the speaker, so they must be um, stated in a questionable form. Uh, that given, we will time for this amendment to the lap, so we will now move into time against. Are there any speakers wishing to take the, house, uh, take the floor at this time? Please raise your blockers now. The delegate of the UK has been recognized. Um, delegates, we believe uh, this amendment should not pass since we believe uh, this can violate the national sovereignty of a nation. Thus, there is no solid action to chastise people or organizations that um, corrupt, that do any corruption. So we believe this amendment should not pass. Thank you. Uh, due to time constraints, the chair will not entertain any points of information. Would the delegate please yield the floor back to the chair? Floor yielded. Uh, we, uh, time against this amendment has now elapsed. We will now move into voting procedures on the amendment. Are those wishing to vote for, please select A. Those wishing to vote against, please select C. And those wishing to abstain, oh, sorry, those, the chair sounds corrected. Those wishing to but again, select B, and those wishing to abstain, select C.
With nine votes for, three against, and eight abstentions, this amendment passes. Uh, the appropriate changes will be made to the resolution. Uh, I now yield my um, chairing right to my co-chair, Nick. Thank you. Once again, the floor is now open for debate on the resolution as a whole. Are there any delegations to speak? Delegate of Luxembourg, you have been recognized. The Delegate of Luxembourg would like to present a, an amendment that was previously submitted to the Chair. That is in order. May I please read their amendment? Uh, one moment, the delegate is currently finding the clause. Okay. Um, calls, upon, calls upon each qualified member of the EUAC responsible for the auditing process to investigate a nation in the European Union other than his or her own, own nation, which will be randomly selected by a third party in the United Nations. The purpose of this clause is to ensure that there is no corruption within um, the uh, the auditing process. So each uh, member of the EUAC will be from each nation in the uh, European Union, but um, each member will not be investigating their own nation. Um, the nations will be randomly selected as for um, which members of the EUAC will be auditing um, which nation. So the randomization process is um, a filter to help prevent corruption within the process of investigating corruption. Thank you, Delegate. Is Delegate open to A&R points of information? The Delegate would like to yield the floor to the Delegate of Bulgaria. That is in order. Does Delegate of Bulgaria accept the yield? Um, accept the yield. Delegate of Bulgaria, you may speak. Um, the Delegate of Bulgaria has one question for the delegate of um, Luxembourg concerning this new clause. Would the process of investigation be only on consenting nations? As noted earlier, there seems to be a noted concern for um, consenting or imperialistic tendencies of this um, committee. The Delegate of Luxembourg would like to assure the Delegate of Bulgaria that um, the EUAC, as in this clause and the um, amendment recently added, is only for um, all consenting nations of the European Union. So under no circumstances will um, the EUAC be infringing upon national sovereignty of any nation that's being audited. Thank you, Delegate. We'll delegate you the floor back to the chair. The delegate yields to any and all further points of information. Delegate, that is not in order. The delegate, please yield the floor back to the chair. The delegate yields the floor back to the chair. Thank you. The chair now sets close debate time for this amendment for two minutes. Uh, sorry. Three minutes for or three minutes against. Are there any delegates wishing to speak on this amendment? Delegate of Spain, you have been recognized. Delegate of Spain, you have been recognized. Sorry, I, I forgot to turn on the microphone. Okay. Um, First of all, I th I, this DAG, I want to clarify that this DAG would not want to vote for or against this amendment. So we, I, I just want to make some clarifications. First of all, if this if clause 10 is to be um, set independently, then it should state what, what they're investigating and what um, the different representatives are doing um, on their job. And secondly, um, I think this DAG thinks that clause 10 should be um, merged with clause 9 
as the as one cause that states the investigation of corruptions um within a nation. Thank you. Thank you, Delgan. This does open to A and all points of information. Does Doug open to A and all points of information? Yes, any and all, pertaining to my speech. The Doug has open to A and all points of information pertaining to his speech. Are there any on the floor? Seeing as there are none, would Doug of Spain yield the floor back to the chair? Yes. Time for the time. On the amendment for this amendment has elapsed. We'll now be moving to time against. Are there any delegates wishing to speak against the amendment? Please raise your placards now. Delegate of Germany, you have been recognized. Thank you, Chair. The delegate of Germany, um, uh, till now, I have been listening to the debate and found in their resolution very fitting. However, gets concerned when clause 10 comes in which says, that the auditing process to investigate a nation in the European Union, other than his or her own, will be randomly selected by a third party in the United Nations. What really shakes and what the delegate of Germany really fears in this entire clause is the random selection by a third party in the UN, which sounds incredibly vague. And uh, feels that if it can be a little more detailed as to how the third parties to select it, or how who would select um, uh, this uh, person for the auditing process, the uh, clause would be very fitting and uh, would improve. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Delegate. Is Doug open to any of this information? Any or not? Doug is open to any of this information. Are there any on the floor? So of Cuba and Bulgaria, you have been recognized. The delegate of Cuba has a question for the delegate from Germany. Would the delegate from Germany be okay with the members of the EU voting on the third party who would then choose a nation who would be investigated? Could the delegate please rephrase this question? The delegate please rephrase this question. Would the delegate of Germany be okay with uh, the third party that chooses the nation who is investigated being voted on by the by the members of the European Union? Yes, uh, absolutely not, because the delegate of Germany feels that um, once there are uh, uh, voting organized for um, and as the third party, uh, the delegate of Germany would feel a bit uh, intruded as as to the sovereignty, because uh, voting for investigation always brings out grudges and has brought out grudges. So the uh, delegate of Germany feels that their interest might be suppressed in um, such a case. Um, the delegate of Bulgaria would like to ask the delegate uh, from Germany, as it seems that Clause 10 would modify Clause 9 if he would consider that removing Clause 10 would actually weaken the power that this committee has and therefore make Germany even more vulnerable to um, the influences that he fears. So would he want this to happen by striking this clause? Would the delegate please rephrase this question? Essentially, do you want Doug to... Dougat, please be reminded that there are no direct dialogue between Dougat. May Dougat please rephrase this question. Does Delegate of Germany wish to modify the clause such that the power of the past clause of, of Clause 9 would be diminished and less focused, therefore increasing the risk of future debt crises? 
the delegate is in complete support of clause 9. Um, the only uh, concern the delegate finds with clause 10 is that there is a third party and as the delegate answers uh, his pre previous point of information which is third party it feels intruded when a third party is selected by a uh, random so called order as the clause mentions of voting. So the delegate would feel intruded and feels that the clause 9 stands absolutely in its interest. Thank you. We'll delegate you the floor back to the chair. The delegate yields the floor back to the chair. Time against this amendment has passed. We will now move into voting procedures on the amendment. Delegates, once again, please remind me that with the updated time and procedures, you may now vote. You may now abstain in voting. So, A for four, B for against, and C for abstentions. Please vote now. With eight votes for, three for against, and nine abstaining, this amendment does pass. Please note the necessary. Please note the changes on the resolution. The floor is now open once again for the res for debate on the resolution as a whole. Are there any resolutions to speak? Doug of Fiji, you have been recognized. Thank you. This delegate believes that with all the current amendments, this resolution is now suitable to be passed. The delegate in, uh, in particular lends its support to Operative Clause 6. Uh, as, many, as a large percentage of countries are currently in an uncontrollable debt, this clause is perhaps the best way to fix that. Thank you. Any delegates, delegate open to any and all points of information? The delegate is open to two points of information. That is an order. Delegate has opened herself, herself to two points of information. Are there any on the floor? Delegate of Spain and Delegate of Cyprus. You have a record. Pertaining to Clause 6, does the delegate mean to say that if a country is not supposedly stressed, then they should not be permitted an extension um, of death um, in, t in, c in time where um, they are in an emergency where they have to pay their debts. Thank you. Can the chair please ask the delegate to rephrase his question? May delegate of Spain please rephrase his question. The delegate means that in time of um, in time of emergency, a country that is not supposed to be stressed will not be allowed an extension in their debt either for time or for the amount they are paying. If the delegate believes so. Follow up. Denied. Douglas, please remind us that in standard procedure there are no follow ups. Douglas Cypress. Now, uh, this delegate acknowledges that this resolution, this resolution has been improved in several aspects. However, in, in the aspect of Clause 8, would the delegate please direct her attention to Clause 8? It suggests that trade tariffs between nations are to be increased. Does the delegate believe that this will actually deter economic growth? No, the delegate believes that countries may be able to function properly. Will the delegate yield the floor back to the chair? The delegate yields the floor back to the chair. Delegate of Germany, to what point do you rise? I apologize, um, he was just not putting it out by mistake. Thank you. The floor is now open. Are there any other solutions to speak on the resolution as a whole at this time? Delegate of South Sudan, you have been recognized. The delegate of South Sudan has 
uh, propose an amendment. May the delegate please clarify which amendment? See, the delegate has submitted the the chair believes the delegate has submitted two. Once again, may the delegate of South Sudan please clarify which amendment he is referring to, seeing as he has submitted two. The delegate submitted a yeah. strike and an add. The delegate believes the delegate would like to address the second the second amendment, the the addition of a new clause. Thank you. We will now add the uh, uh, clause. Delegate, you may begin. Uh, this particular clause is very similar to the previous clauses, yet the delegate believes that clauses 9 and 10 only refer to the European Union, and yet sovereign debts could arise for any region. Therefore, the delegate of South Sudan has proposed that similar committees should be formed along the same lines as the EUAC, but in separate blocks that are that would encourage international trade between those uh, inter, uh, between those blocks, and also these nations would have some degree of friendly economic moderation, very similar to the EUAC's own. Thank you, Delegate. This Doug open to any and all points of information. The delegate is open to any and all points of information. Delegate is open to any and all points of information. Due to time constraints, we will only entertain one. Delegate of Luxembourg, you have been recognized. How does the delegate um, propose to um, create these committees, and uh, specifically, what would they do? Um, the delegate would also like to add that. Uh, she strongly uh, supports this uh, amendment. Thank you, Delegate of Luxembourg. The Delegate of, the, of South Sudan believes that there are many regional blocks that, have, that already exist. For example, in South America, you have separate regional blocks. And perhaps similar to the EU, these could be used for the additional purpose of uh, encouraging international trade and economic moderation. Thank you, Doug. Well, Doug, you have the floor back to the chair. Doug, it does have an idea the floor back to the chair. Thank you. Time for this amendment has elapsed. Are there any Douglas who to speak against this amendment? State of Germany, you have been recognized. Thank you, Chair. The delegate of Germany feels that Clause 11 says um, in separate blocks to encourage international trade and friendly economic moderation. The delegate appreciates uh, the fellow delegates of South Sudan's effort to um, form, form this committee of international trade and a friendly economic moderation, however, feels that this clause doesn't really um, define how these, how the, how does the delegate propose to form these blocks? Because economic blocks and uh, blocks for um, trade, uh, as the delegate is aware about, uh, as the European Union and uh, the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation in South Asia um, had a very detailed charter. So, how does the delegate exactly propose to perform all these tasks in just a two-line clause? The clause deserves to be more detailed, and hence, then should pass. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. Is Doug open to any and all information? Any and all. The Doug has opened up to any and all points of information. However, due to time constraints, the chair will only entertain one. Doug of Israel, you have been recognized. Thank you, Delegate, for your speech. Uh, does the Delegate agree with us if we say that uh, this clause is just uh, vague? 
the delegate absolutely agrees and could not agree more to the delegate of Israel and would like to thank the delegate of Israel for uh, his effort to bring that out and uh, um, and endorses that view because this law this way because to propose uh, to form a block altogether needs a, a very detailed clause in itself and once a, a clause, uh, once the clause is not detailed it, it could lead to um, severe consequences which would not be wanted by the international community or for any country part of that law. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. Will Doug give the floor back to the chair? The delegate needs the floor back to the chair. Time has elapsed for a debate on this amendment. We are now moving to voting procedure. Once again, A is for, B is against, and C is abstaining. Delegates, please vote now. With eight votes for, six against, and seven abstentions, this amendment does pass. Please note the necessary changes. Once again, the floor is open for debate on the resolution as a whole. I think that it's wishing to speak. Delegate of Cuba, you have been recognized. The Delegate of Cuba, if I could pose a um, uh, submitted clause. That is an order. The chair will read the amendment. Urges nations at their discretion to regularly hold mediated conferences between citizens who choose to participate and willing government officials to facilitate discussions of economic reforms from the perspective of public interest. Doug it, or sorry, the chair now sets close debate time for this amendment with two minutes for and two minutes against. Doug it, you may begin. The delegate of Cuba believes that this clause will inspire confidence and help fix the global economy. While it is aimed at the European Union, it can also be used as a model for other countries. And the delegate yields the floor to Poland. That is an order. Does Poland accept the yield? Uh, Poland, the delegate of Poland does accept the yield, and I just wanted to point out that um, the delegate of Poland does agree with this clause, and that um, this clause would ensure communication with um, both the citizens that um, are um, facilitating the discussion of economic reform and will give them a chance to voice their concerns in a peaceful manner and will ensure their um, communication with the government and um, will give them a chance to be recognized in, um, in their country. And I yield the floor to um, the... <laughs> so that is not in order. Is there open to A and all points of information? I yield the floor to any and all points of information. Sorry. Sorry, the chair did not hear correctly. Does Doug it, oh, is Doug it open to A and all points of information, or would Doug it like to yield the floor back to the chair? I open the floor to any and all points of information. Sorry. Uh, oh, uh, anyway. Due to time constraints, we will only entertain one. Delegate of Germany, you have been recognized. The delegate of Germany, the, the delegate of Germany, um, um, and, and point of inquiry from the chair. Right. The delegate of Germany would uh, like to ask um, that 
when the clause says that urges nations at the discretion to regularly hold needed conferences, till now it was okay when when it says between citizens. Now what the delegate feels is that um, uh, if the delegate takes the example of India where uh, there are 1.3 billion people who live in a country. Now how exactly does a willing citizen participate in the such conferences? How does the delegate propose to fund such huge, huge conferences and just for the sake of public interest and opinion? Now uh, does the delegate realize that the very um, um, introduction of representative governments was to voice public opinion and they could just exactly do it and hence feels that this part of the clause is not required and as the clause itself not required. Over to any offense information. Oh. Chair stands corrected. Delegate Germany, was that a point of information directed to the delegate of Poland? Yes. Sorry, sorry Delegate Poland, may the delegate please respond? Yes, uh, the delegate of Poland thinks that um, this would actually do the opposite of um, what the delegate of Germany is saying and that this would promote um, peaceful protest, I mean peaceful protest and peaceful demonstration um, rather than encourage rioting and other um, illegal and inappropriate forms of um, voice and concern. May the delegate Poland please yield the floor back to the chair. I yield the uh, the delegate of Poland yield the floor back to the chair. Thank you. We are now moving to time against this amendment. Are there any delegates to speak at this time? Delegate of Spain, you have been recognized. Delegate of Spain thinks that cost twelve is unnecessary since there is already organizations such as United Nations, um, APAC and NATO and therefore they will, those um, organizations serve as the same purpose as what the clause 12 is suggesting and also within a nation if the clause is stating that within a nation um, there are already organizations such as the Congress and the Senate that serve as um, a perspective of the public interest that will determine the laws. Therefore, it will not be necessary to have Clause 12 in this resolution. Thank you. Due time for change, we will not entertain any points of information. We'll dug it the floor back in the chair. So you did. Thank you. We will now move into voting procedure on this amendment as a whole. Delegates. A is for, B is against, and C is abstentions. Please vote now. With 12 votes for, 7 against, and 2 abstentions, this amendment does pass. The chair now sets Time, close debate time for this resolution as a whole, meaning that we will only have two speeches left, one for and one against on the resolution as a whole, which means that no, res no further amendments will be entertained. Are there any final speakers wishing to speak on this resolution as a whole with the current Motion to changes? extend debate time. Denied due to time constraints. Second. Denied. So the chair is now asking for those to speak for this resolution as a whole. Doug, uh, New Zealand, you have been recognized. The delegate of New Zealand believes that this resolution should be passed because uh, with the addition of clause 9, 10, uh, 11, and 12, uh, 
this resolution is more uh, uh, for uh, on on this uh, on the side of the topic as a whole because uh, appointing uh, uh, anti-corruption committee will lead to less debt since uh, corruption is a plays a major role in debt in many countries. So the delegate of New Zealand does believe that this resolution should pass. Thank you. Thank you. Doug, open to any and all points of information. The delegate is open to only one point of information. That is an order. All delegates, please lower your hands. Thank you. So that is open to one point of information. Are there any on the floor? Delegate of France, you have been recognized. Does the delegate agree that this resolution is precise and addresses all the methods that we should take to curtail the risk of sovereign debt crisis and therefore we should all vote for this resolution? Um, can the delegate of France please uh, rephrase their question in a more audible manner? I'm sorry I wasn't able to hear what you said. May the delegate of France please speak in a slower uh, speed. Thank you. Does the delegate agree that this resolution is precise and addresses all the methods that we should take to create the risk of sovereign debt crisis and therefore all delegates should vote for this resolution? Yes, the delegate of resolution believes that this, uh, re uh, this resolution is uh, uh, more precise to the actual topic and does deserve to pass. Thank you, Delegate. Well, Delegate, you have the floor back to the chair. The Delegate now uses the floor back to the chair. The chair, well, the, the floor is now open for one final speaker against this resolution as a whole. Are there any delegates wishing to speak? Delegate of Syria, you have been recognized. Honorable chairs and fellow delegates, the delegate of Syria urges all delegates to vote against this resolution because the delegate of Syria believes that it still fails to address the most important issue, which is how to reduce and completely stop sovereign debt crisis from happening in, in the future. Instead, Syria believes that cost three should have been heavily amended because cost three has the most potential of becoming something that can lead to a long-term solution. Syria believes that the key problem to a uh, sovereign debt crisis is because of the amount of greedy and irresponsible governments which are in our world now. These governments stop at nothing to get money and therefore become irresponsible. The delegate of Syria would like to point out that although rich and powerful countries like the United States of America can indeed sustain themselves, other countries are unable to sustain themselves when they follow in the United States of America's steps. These countries might believe that by following in the United States of America's steps, they can also become rich. However, following the U.S. U.S.'s uh, want for money and greed, these countries instead fall into this sovereign debt crisis. And as this issue still does not seem to have a good long-term solution, the delegate of Syria believes that this resolution is utterly pointless and will not successfully do anything. So therefore urges all delegates to vote against this resolution. Thank you. Thank you, delegates. Due to time constraints, we will not we will not entertain a point of information. Delegates, we will now move into voting procedure on this resolution. Once again, please vote. A is for, B is against, and C is abstaining. Seeing as this is the end of the debate, chair expects all delegates to vote besides those that are away.
with 13 votes for, 8 against, and 0 abstaining, this resolution passes. Clapping is in order. Thank you, Doug, for participating in the February Global Debate. This debate was by far one of the most strongest debates that the chair has been part of. Doug, hey. no, sorry, the chair would like to, the chair would like to remind all Douglas that if they have taken a picture during their debate, that they should send it to Miss Martin's email address. Um, otherwise, thank you for participating, and we hope to see you again for the next month's global debate.